Hey guys, this is Chris, CEO of Internet Marketing Solutions, and in today's video review, we're going to be looking at the AVS Video Editor, and you can download a free trial of this by going to avstrials.com or by following the link directly under this video. If you click on it, it'll take you to this page where you can find AVS Video Editor here, and you can download it. Or in the left-hand column, just find the link that says AVS Video Editor, click on it, and it'll take you to a page that gives you all kinds of details, and also where you can download the trial version. Now, once you have it installed, you're going to see a screen like this. And I'm going to briefly go over with you a lot of the options on here and kind of make a short demo video for you so you can see exactly what this tool is capable of doing. Now, in this trial version, you are limited to exactly what you can do with it, though. Um, and one of the restrictions is, is that when you create the video, it does leave a watermark. Now, after this video, near the end, I want to show you how you can get this product for 70 percent off as well as get 11 additional tools for free along with it so uh, if you want to fast forward to the end of the video you can otherwise I want to go through and show you what the AVS video editor software is and how it works so here on the dashboard you're going to see you have three options of ways to get the media files within the software you can import them directly video audio or pictures you can capture them from your camcorder or you can take it directly from your computer screen by using the built-in recording uh, software that it has with it. Now I've already got a project started with some of the demo files that came with the installation and that's what I'm going to be working with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking these images, these videos, and the audio files and I'm going to be dragging them down here to this timeline. On the left hand side of this timeline, if you hover over the icons, it'll show you exactly what's supposed to go on each line. For example, this one is for the main video. This one is for video effects, video overlays, text, audio, and down here below you can't see it but it's for voice recording. You can see the icon right here where you can add your own comments to the video that you create. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just take some of these clips and drag them down to the video timeline. And let's go down here and grab also a couple images. Here's an image and we'll put it somewhere in the middle as well as this one and we'll finish it with another video. Or Actually we'll start it with this one. Okay so we have our basic timeline made here of some images and videos and you can see if you look at the timeline up here it's going to last close to one minute long and you can shorten this or make it longer you can drag uh, you can you can cut the clips and delete them uh, what I'm going to do is zoom in so we can see this better okay alright now we can see what we're doing so right now we just have a plain ordinary um, timeline of just a few clips and some images so if we play it there's not much really going on with it. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Okay, let me pause it. And I want to go up here and look for... There's another video I like. I don't see it, so that's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do to spice this up is we're going to add some transitions in between each of these clips and the images. So we'll go to transitions. I like using the fades. I just think they're very professional looking. And I'm going to drag them down here. Now what happened, you notice this timeline is different now. Over here, see where it says timeline? If I click that, it's going to take me back to the way I was. And if I click this storyboard, it's going to take me, it's going to show me the same thing just in a different way. We're still going to see each of the images and videos that I placed here, but in between is a place for us to put our transitions. And so I'm just going to drag them down and put them in between. Just going to change them out like that. And then we'll go back to my timeline. And you can see here the, the letters, the A's and the Z's, that's where the transitions are. So if I play the video now, you're going to notice in between each clip or each picture how it's going to fade in and out in between each one of them. Okay, so it's starting to look a little bit better. Now this clip here, this one's pretty long and I'm going to narrow it down. So all I have to do is click on the image or the video and over here I'm going to click split at current position. So what I want to do is drag this over to where I want to split 
We'll say we'll make it half as long as what it is. That's about half in between. Click this, and then I'm going to take this part of it and delete it. Okay. Now, what that done, since I cut that, it actually removed the transition here, so I want to put it one back down here. Okay, let's play it now. All right, it's starting to look good. Now it is missing, um, I know what it's missing. Let's go to, we can go to video effects and there's a lot of different types of effects that come pre-installed with the AVS video editor. I'm not gonna use these though with this, but I am gonna go to the text and I'm gonna add this one here. We're gonna make this like a vacation video. So I'm gonna drag this down to this line and let's see what happens when I play it now. There we go. And that will stay down at the bottom of this video for as long as I have it uh, on this timeline. So what I can do, if I want it to last the full length, I can just drag it clear to the end and it'll stay down there, clear to the end of the video, then it'll fade out. Okay, so the last thing we need is some audio. So let me go back to my library and we're going to take this demo music and drag it down to the music line. Okay, and we need to adjust it. So we need to go to the end of it and drag it back to there. And then what we can also do is right click on the audio and click fade out. And that's going to fade it out so at the end the music kind of fades out so you know it's ending. So let's go ahead and listen to it now. Okay, and there you have it. And it took me less than 10 minutes to make that, just simply dragging and dropping my images, the videos, and the audio down in here, just putting it together. And this software can be used to make professional quality commercials. Now you may have noticed in this preview that it was a little bit jumpy. Uh, the audio was jumpy, the clip was a little bit jumpy, and that's because we are previewing it. Now once you actually produce the video, it won't be like that it will be a seamless uh, seamless video so once you're done what you want to do is click on produce and you can pretty much export it in, in almost any format that you need to and I'll show you the options available here as soon as it comes up okay you can see here the first one is for file and if I select that and then click next it's going to allow me to choose all these file formats that I can save it as, pretty much any that uh, you could possibly want with advanced options here, as well as clicking the advanced tab and even adjusting it further to whatever size you need it to be. Let's go back and you can also burn it on a disc, uh, not just DVD but also Blu-ray and also DIVX or XVID. You can save it to a play on a particular device just by clicking whether you want it to be on Apple, Android, Blackberry and such you can see here and it also has the advanced options and if you want it to play on the web for an online social site such as YouTube or Facebook or any of these all you have to do is click it and click next and it's going to convert it to play in that and all you have to do is upload it so it's very simple to use very easy, easy even for someone who's never used a video editing software there's really no reason for someone to have to spend 
hundreds of dollars for a video editor tool when AVS has one like this for just, you know, I think it's around $20, $30. Uh, let me go there actually and show you. I told you at the beginning I was going to show you how to get it discounted because normally AVS runs specials. And up here at the top, uh, if you click on the link under the video, the avstrials.com, when you get here, click on this Buy Now button. And you'll see here, now this is July 2015, and almost every month they run some kind of promotion like this. You can see it's currently 70% off. Um, there's two options here. You can get it just for one year for $39, or you can buy a lifetime license to it for $59. But not only do you get the license for the video editor, you also get the license for the video converter, the remaker, the media player, as well as the audio software, the image software, and the miscellaneous software. So for 59 bucks, you're getting a handful of tools that uh, can help you do whatever you need to do with your video, your audio, your images, and more. So it's, it, it, it is a really good deal. And like I said, if you want to check it out, it's avstrials.com. That link is under this video. You can download the trial, play with it a little bit, see if it's something you like, and then you can uh, just go back to the site and purchase it for the full version. That way when you produce your video, you won't have the watermark. So I hope you guys make some really cool videos using the software.